we're listening to ourselves talk about this trip that we're going on. We didn't leave at 2 a.m., but Phil was up at 2 a.m., ready to go, like a little kid on Christmas. Robert's driving. It's 9 o'clock Sunday morning. We're about halfway there. So on our way to the cabin for gun season. Tomorrow we're going to do some scouting today. Listen to the podcast, people. and It'll tell you everything we're planning on doing. Any thoughts? Nope. Since then? Ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready to get there. Hopefully it snows. Hopefully more snow than rain. through here my brother-in-law has his bow with him he just picked up from the house and uh jumped two deer out of the pines up in here phil and robert are down there guess the deer are walking that way right there i'm just wondering if maybe I've never really gone up and around there, but if you're good with this spot here, this is an easy spot to get to from the top of the hill. I'm not enhancing any sound. You guys are the young ones. In this part of the video. Well, you're not going to do it? Well, he got us dinner. Sorry, buddy. It was a bad pay shot. But we're gonna fry him up. Pretty good sized squirrels. I was hoping for another one. But 
take what we can get. There you go. That's how it should be done. Thanks to the meat eater crew. We'll see how it will be done here in a couple minutes. taking stuff outside and by the time I took stuff outside Andrew was there and then a couple minutes later Phil and Robert were there and I just forgot it I like even stopped in the front door and was like did I think do I have everything yep I do and totally forgot the bag of lunch meat jerky and dinner stay dry yeah. let's go kill something let's do it Okay, it's uh, 6.30 in the morning, and uh, we're getting ready to head out. Hopefully, uh, somebody gets one here opening day. Heading out a little bit later than we had expected, but uh, it is what it is. So, getting ready to head up to the top of a hill where they uh, showed me a new place to hunt yesterday. So, I'm heading up there, and uh, hopefully we'll have good news here in a few hours. It's like I won't walk back to the cabin. I want to go back, but I don't want to walk in. Also, for the past hour and a half, I've had my heart will go on from Titanic stuck in my head. So that's how my morning is going. I personally see a turkey or some kind of bird and it's been raining almost non-stop so just uh, keep it warm give you guys a little view of what I'm today on the edge of a hill here I'm gonna blind you can see a lot of space but nothing's moving Oh, well, your, your fart didn't make it on camera. <laughs> nice. 
when you're the content guy, you can determine who farts right. make it on camera. <laughs> Ready to head out. Day two. We got snow. This is gonna look awesome when the sun comes out. Good luck, Robert. Good luck to you, Phil. Let's do it. Oh, hold on, phone's crooked. I gotta start that over. <laughs> <laughs> We got blood here. There's the stand. Tractor in here. Oh, there she is. Deer down. That a boy. Well done. You said it was Andrew, right? At yeah. About 822. Yeah, it was Andrew. Scared the living shit out of me. I bet. So he shot it. There's like almost no blood. And then we walked up a little bit and saw a patch of hair and some blood. But that was it. You would think with that 4570, it'd be everywhere. Right. And then <clears throat> he said he saw a duck into the trees. And then he saw one more small spot of blood. And then it was under the tree. It didn't go far. All right. And through just under the arm and out the other arm. Uh, 45 70 works. She's not big, but she'll eat good. Good work, kid. All right. Well, I am struggling here a little bit. Oh, 
I had to take a little break from the blind earlier. I had to use the restroom and uh, left some of my stuff up in the blind where I was because I knew I was going back up there. I was going to try to hike and find the same place I was at yesterday. I've been there twice. I didn't think it would be very hard to find. So I uh, went on a little hike and never found where I was going. So I ended up walking out uh, right about where Phil, where they told me Phil was hunting, but he'd be located. But I'm walking through these woods with all the snow on these branches. Uh, glasses fogged up. Snow dumping down my back constantly. Uh, it was it was not fun. So um, I know Andrew had a deer earlier, so I made my way over here to this blind once I realized where I was. I'm just sitting here trying to cool off. Overheated and uh, agitated. Well, I got my steps in for the day. I'm gonna go take a nap. I can't tell if I'm rabbit hunting or deer hunting where I'm walking. I'm too fat. <laughs> Goal for 2021. Lose weight. It's just, nothing is flat. I'm exhausted. Everything is slippery. Very slippery. Lose weight for sure for next year. Yeah. That Cam Haynes cardio. Yeah. I don't know about that, but. Maybe a tenth of that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, we're not hunting elk in Oregon. Here in Ohio, we should be able to do this. Turn that off, I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> Going back out for the afternoon hunt. And I'm already out of breath. Because I had to come back up to the cabin for my bag that I forgot. I'm trying not to fall down the hill. Pretty slick. My gun is already down in the woods. Damn it. Okay, so against my better judgment, after I uh, got some food in my belly and dried off and warmed up a little bit, uh, I trekked back through the woods and um, I, found, I found the spot that I checked out on Sunday. And, uh, I'm hunting now, so I've been sitting for about 45 minutes, nice and quiet, so it's uh, just after 2, so hopefully this will be the day, we're running out of time, so wish me luck. It's 4 o'clock, 1 hour, we're so wet, it's freaking cold. Third morning's when it gets done. Right, Robert? Hope so. Wednesday morning, we have three hours left to sit. Hopefully something happens today. All right, well, it's about 8.40 in the morning. Uh, I heard a shot about 10 minutes ago. Sounds like it might have been Aaron or Andrew, <clears throat> but I haven't heard anybody say anything yet. So, uh, I'm sitting here watching, and my deer blind's looking right into public land. I'm like 10 feet from our property line, and uh, I just had a guy walk up to me, kind of where I was looking. So, uh, if anything was in there, it would have he would have driven it to me. But um, now I know that this area is going to be messed up for a little while. So, uh. I'm already getting a little cold. I don't know if I'm going to sit here for the next hour and wait for things to settle down or I might just call it. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see, oh, I guess. just shot back up the holler on the public land. I don't know who it is, but everybody thought it was me. So we're all up walking around. And I think that's about it for this hunt. 
shitty weather. Too much snow and little deer movement. Doesn't help. It's unfortunate. Depressing drive home, huh? Yeah. True to form, the only thing we caught. <laughs> Maybe a cold. Maybe, maybe yeah. a cold, uh, yeah, nothing in the truck. Squirrels. We got squirrels. two squirrels. That was the highlight of the trip. We're on our way back listening to the bonus episode. Make sure to check that out on the podcast uh, website, Spotify, Apple, all that good stuff. Kind of an uneventful trip. I think Mother Nature screwed us for the most part. Yeah, I feel pretty defeated. I feel exhausted. A lot of hiking. Yeah, we walked a lot. And walking in snow, and getting sweaty and wet. Uphill, downhill. Cold, hot, cold, hot. Slippery. Yeah. So. New text message thanks. with Jessica. And Robert's catching hell right now <laughs> on the way home. Maybe. Thanks for checking it out. Follow along on the podcast and the YouTube and the Facebook and all that. Later.